demonstration of total internal reflection Now how to demonstrate this one? Take a laser beam and take a kettle of water which is in a glass kettle. Fill with water. This kettle should be made up of a transparent medium like glass. Now, from top to top to bottom or bottom to top, try to project the laser beam. Suppose if this is the projection from bottom to top at this angle. Because of this uh, angle of refraction made by the denser medium, you will see some part is partially reflects back. And some part is refracts. We know this. Try to adjust this position of the laser beam. Means you are changing the angle as previous in the glass case. So same kettle. Fill with water. Here try to change the angle of incidence from this corner. Here you won't see any refracting light. Simply you will see the whole light is reflecting back to the medium. This is called total internal reflection. Suppose if you remove this water and pour this water in a test tube like shape, cylindrical test tube. Of some finite width fill with water try to project the light at any angle of incidence maybe from this side or maybe from this side suppose if this is the angle of incidence light incident on this reflects like this again incident again reflect So it is taking multiple reflections within the medium. So you see the shape. If shape is changed, the medium shape is changing, it is going to the multiple reflections by making the same angle of incidence and carrying the same strength to the long distance. This is actually happening in the optical fibers. So this is a small demonstration about the total internal reflection. How this total internal reflection is visible to us in our daily life and what are the applications of this concept. One of the best example of the total internal reflection is mirage. This is one of the optical illusion. So what is the meaning of mirage and how it forms? Yes, we know that here is the sunlight. Sun is releasing the light. So on the earth, some gas is there, some air is there. Air at the morning times, it has cooler, coolest temperature, so cool temperature. Whenever this air absorbs the sunlight, this temperature of the air goes to increase. Whenever the temperature increases, this hot air glows up. So hot air is going up. This is the sun ray. This is the cool temperature air. Whenever hot air is going up, hot air's density is less than the cool air. Density of hot air 
is less than the density of cool air. This point we should because if uh, any object whether it is a uh, the medium or matter which is of any shape when its temperature increases its density going to decrease butter which is in a solid state temperature increases on boiling case it will become liquid so density is decreasing so such like that this is the cool air on the surface of the ground when it is uh, really when it is absorbing the sun energy or solar energy or sun ray it becomes hot and going to up whenever this hot air is going up the cool air should replace this part that means there is a continuous process of blowing up of the hot air and uh, replacing the same part with the cool air that means very next after some time the sun rays has to travel from hot air to cool air that means hot air means low denser medium to high denser medium so low density medium to high density medium this is very very important so whenever light ray is traveling from low density medium to high density medium the bending of light ray will take place that's why because of this bending the objects which are upward straight they are appear to be virtually down suppose if a person is able to watch the uh, a tree of a tallest height whenever the sun rays are traveling from low density medium to high density medium at particular angle of incidence because sun's position will change at particular angle of incidence if that angle of incidence crosses the critical angle or exceeds the critical angle total internal reflection takes place and the majority part of the light is seems to be absorbed by that part that's why we will see some water droplets are there at a distant position suppose while you are traveling in a bus or car if you see the uh, the forward side the front side of a, which is at a distance position it seems to be some water droplets are there on the road when you go there actually it won't be there and the same illusion will be appeared at the, in deserts because of the hot sensation which is received by the silicon crystals nothing but the sand it always whenever the light exceeds the angle of critical angle totally internal reflection takes place that's why the spot where the total internal reflection taking place that spot will appear like a twinkling of water but there is nothing that's why it is called as optical illusion so what are the two important points in this case light is traveling from low density to high density and at the same time if angle of incidence is crosses or exceeds the critical angle then the objects which are actually in this position appear to be downward with virtualness so this is called optical illusion and this phenomenon is called mirage so mirage is one of the optical illusion not only in this case uh, this total internal reflection is uh, one of the example or one of the use to twinkling of the stars sparking of the diamond optical fiber many of the examples are there we will see one by one next example is diamond so as we seen in the beginning diamond has the critical angle of approximately some 24 degrees at 24.41 degrees 41 degrees that means this critical angle is very least for the diamond that means with at any angle of incidence between 0 to 30 total internal reflection takes place in the diamond so mostly the surface of the diamond will be like this so on any shape you can expect a triangular shape so it will be suppose if the angle of incidence is crossing 24 degrees it takes the total internal reflection like this maybe here also you can expect one more incident ray so such like this we can expect the diamond is behaving as a total internal reflection so if you take any shape of the diamond
if the angle of incidence is some 45 degrees these two lines will align parallel to the base so again it will come like this so this angle is some 45 degrees this angle will become 90 degrees so whenever the angle of incident crosses the uh, critical angle the light undergoes the multiple reflections within the given medium or given substance that's why there is a bright spots can be appear inside the diamond that's why diamond is appear to be a brighter object that's why it is called sparking of a diamond this is one of the example of the total internal reflection if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.